Today we will be talking about adding and subtracting integers on a number line. To review the integer rules for adding integers, when the signs are the same, add the integers and keep the same sign. When the signs are different, subtract the integers and keep the sign of the integer with the greatest absolute value. Here are a couple of examples. Negative 8 plus negative 2, they have the same sign, so we would add and keep the sign, so that would be negative 10. For negative 2 plus positive 8, that's, we have different signs, so I'm going to subtract the absolute values. So 8 minus 2 is 6, and the number with the largest absolute value is positive, so it's a positive 6. Same for this one here, we have different signs, so again, 8 minus 2 is 6, the number with the largest absolute value here is negative, so it's going to be negative 6. The subtracting integer rules change the subtraction sign to an addition sign and switch the second number to its inverse or opposite. So for this first one, negative 5 minus 3. So I change the subtraction sign to addition and I switch the positive 3 to negative 3. So then I just use my addition rules, so negative 5 plus negative 3 is negative 8. On this second example, negative 5 minus negative 3, we change the subtraction to addition and switch negative 3 to its inverse or opposite, which is positive 3, and that will give me negative 2 because we use our adding integers rules, which would be 5 minus 3 to give us 2, and the higher absolute value is negative so it's a negative 2. The strategy for solving integer problems is putting them on a number line. This only works when you have numbers that are somewhat smaller. To solve these problems on a number line, you start by plotting the first number on the number line, negative 3. We are going to add, which means I need to go to the right, and since our sign did not flip, it's still a positive number, I want to go five places to the right which leads me to positive 2 for my answer. For the second one, we want, again, start with the first number, so that's positive 6. We're adding, which tells me to go to the right, but since I'm adding a negative number, I'm going to turn around and take it to the left. And I'm going to take it to the left 13 spaces, which is going to take me all the way to negative 7 for my answer. You can pause the video here to try these two on your own or continue watching to see how they are solved. So again, we want to start with our first number, which is negative 8. We're adding positive 12, so we're not flipping the sign. So I'm going to go 12 to the right, which is going to take me to positive 4 for my answer. And for our second one, we start with positive 9. We add, which tells us to go to the right, but since it's a negative, we're going to switch and go backwards to the left to positive 7 to be our answer. Let's look at a couple of subtraction problems. So again, we are going to start with our first number, so negative 3. But this time, since we're subtracting, we want to go to the left. So I'm going to go to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spots and that takes me to negative 8. As a reminder, you can also rewrite your problem as an addition problem, like we reviewed on the previous slides, and that could also help you to plot them on the number line. For the next one, negative 4. We start at negative 4, and then we're going to do minus a negative. So since we're doing minus a negative, we're going to start by going to the left, but then actually turn around and come back to the right since it's a double negative here. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3 to the right, which takes me to negative 1. And again, if you choose to rewrite your problem as an addition problem, that is how it would look, which would also give us negative 1. So now you can pause the video to solve these on your own or continue watching to see how they are solved. For this first one, we start at positive 7, and it's minus negative 2. So minus tells us to go to the left, but since it's minus a negative, we're going to turn around and go back to the right. So that's going to be 1, 2 to the right, which gives us 
positive 9. And again, if you switch this to an addition problem, change subtraction to addition, and the opposite of negative 2 is positive 2, which tells us that it would end at 9. And our last example, negative 2, start there, minus 6. So we're going to go to the left 6 places, and that would end us at negative 8. And again, just to practice rewriting them as addition, negative 2 plus negative 6 would end us at negative 8. 